Kazakhstan is rich in unique natural wildlife reserves and national parks that today are the landmarks of the country. We managed to preserve the true beauty of our pristine nature. Today, the most beautiful areas of our country are under special care. National parks, sanctuaries and wildlife reserves are there to preserve nature. They are under special protection and can be found in all regions of Kazakhstan. They also include all the landscape zones. The most protected areas are near the largest metropolis of the country, Almaty. This year, many national parks in Kazakhstan are celebrating their anniversaries. The Ilya Alatau National Park is one of them. One of the largest and the most beautiful parks of Kazakhstan is 20 years old. The story of the establishment of the Ili Alatau National Park goes back to 1931, when the Almaty National Wildlife Reserve was established in the Transili Alatau. After the expansion of its territory by up to 40,000 hectares, and later to 856,680 hectares, it was renamed as the Almaty National Park, covering the whole territory of the Transili Alatau mountain range. Those who initiated the creation of the Ili Alatau National Park were famous Kazakhstani scientists, plant biologists, zoologists and soil scientists, including scholars of the Kazakh SSR, Bukov, Gvozdev and Baitulin. The Ilalatau National Park was established on February 22, 1996, under the administration of the Transili Forestry Union. The first general director of the Ilalatau National Park was Tatarkin, later Mirzabekov and Begimbetov, and from 2008, Ainabekov. The National Park is located on the northern macroscope of the Transili Alatau and the Tenshan Mountain System in close vicinity of Almaty. The park's territory spans from the Shamalgan River, its western border reaches the Shelek River, and the east has a distance of 120 kilometers and is about 30 kilometers wide. The southern border passes through the water parting of the Transili Alatau. The northern border joins the Bostandek, Medeo, Turksip, and Naurasbay districts of Almaty, as well as the rural and city districts of the Karasai, Talgar, and Yvek Shikazak administrative lands of the Almaty region. A protection or a buffer zone is located around the national park along its western, northern, eastern, and partially southern borders, and is represented by the Almaty National Wildlife Reserve that is part of the national park. The altitudes where the park is located vary from 600 to 4600 meters above sea level. Here you can see a unique line of the vertical landscape zone distribution, from grassy steppes to alpine meadows and to peaks with snow caps and glaciers. The National Park has 48 kinds of mammals, over 200 types of birds, 8 kinds of reptiles, 4 types of amphibians and 8 kinds of fish. The number of types of invertebrates is not clearly determined, as the study of this group is not yet complete. The rare and endangered species include 6 animals, the Tenshan brown bear, the snow leopard, the Turkestan lynx, the Tenshan mountain sheep, the stone marten and the Indian porcupine. The Wildlife Protection and Reproduction Department operates in four central areas of focus – wildlife protection, biotechnical measures, record-keeping and hunting business. Fauna protection is realized through operational protection and with the use of static guard posts. The static guard is comprised of 132 forest inspectors residing at forest post areas and two forest inspectors of the Almaty State Integrated Nature Reserve. The Operational Protection Group is made up of five operational groups and the branches of the Ile Alatau National Park and the Almaty Reserves. Special attention is paid to the issues of violating the nature protection laws. The park area is under constant patrol. Joint security raids are carried out with the local police department and the border service of the National Security Department.
The biotechnical measures implemented in the park are aimed at increasing the population of hunted animals and improving their reproduction by creating suitable conditions for their livelihood. Mineral additives are used for hoofed animals as well as additional winter feeding of hoofed animals and birds with crops, hay, wood forage and other food concentrates. Also the number of harmful predators is kept under control. Two hundred and eleven artificial salt springs are constantly available for animals in the park and the reserve. Every year the Wildlife Protection and Reproduction Department, Branch Rangers and Inspection Service keep records and monitor the number of wild animals. As a result, the park gets data on the number of wild animals, their distribution across the land, places of gathering and migration paths. Lately, the wildlife has been studied using photo traps, which allow to identify the composition of the fauna, get data on the daily activity of animals, their behavior, herding, gender and age structure of the population, their biology and ecology. The area of 199,392 hectares has a total of 20 photo traps of the Scout Guard model that can operate in photo and video modes. The park's forest lands cover 77,663 hectares or 39% of the total area of the park. The area of the forest free land is 121,729 hectares and makes up 61% of the park's total area. Shrank spruce is the main tree in the forest and grows on an area of 22,905 hectares, which is 32.8% of the forest covered area. The average age of the spruce tree is 120 to 150 years. Asian wild apple and aspen tree make up the majority of the leafed kinds of trees. The area of bushes covers 29,311 hectares or 42% of the land covered with the forest. Other kinds of trees cover 10% of the forested lands. Every year the park develops measures for extinguishing forest fires by attracting human resources and funds. The plans are cleared with the regional and district emergency departments. Emergency groups consisting of forest protection workers have been arranged since 2009 to ensure fire safety in the forests of the Ilialatau National Park, in all its administrative branches and in the Almaty National Park and Reserve. Every year, nature protection organizations, the Emergency Department of Almaty and Almaty Region and medical workers conduct seminars on extinguishing fires in the mountains during which forest fires extinguishing skills are developed as well as conduct of safety measures and provision of first aid to persons injured during forest fires. In 2015, thanks to the measures taken, fires were completely avoided in the park. Aside from forest protection, the National Park has forest restoration events carried out annually on a territory of 50 hectares. Endemic plant species are used as planting materials. Shrank spruce, Asian wild apple and common apricot seedlings, the last two classified as rare and endangered. Since 2012, the shrank spruce tree has been planted on a territory of 123 hectares as part of forest restoration measures on cleared space after the windfall of 2011. The planting departments of Parks Nursery have seeds of shrank spruce, Asian wild apple and apricot in the amount of 600,000 units, including the school department with 32,000 seedlings. Since 2011, the trees have been chemically treated for timber worms and chemical treatment of the wood core of the trunks has been conducted. The National Park has unique natural landmarks such as mossy spruce forests, waterfalls, high-altitude lakes, stone glaciers, as well as objects of cultural and historical heritage. These include burial grounds of the early Iron Era, the famous Saka burial mounds, and towns of the Middle Ages. Along the ranges of the Transilialatau, there is an ancient path that was used a long time ago by the traveling nations and tribes, and where later the Great Silk Road appeared. The administrative structure of the National Park is comprised of the central office located in Almaty, four branches and the Almaty State Integrated Nature Reserve. The park staff includes 320 people, of which 305 are national inspectors, including 178 forest rangers. The park administration has six departments for 
protection, reproduction of forest and landscape arrangement, protection and reproduction of fauna, scientific research and agrobiological diversity of the mountains, environmental education, tourism and environmental management, financial organization and staff works, and infrastructure development. The tasks of environmental education, tourism and recreation of the National Park are assigned to the Department of Environmental Education, Tourism and Environmental Management. The park is mostly visited by people on short-term vacations, also called weekend leisure. 42 tourist routes were created for tourists, 13 paths to study nature and 29 tourist paths, including 21 horseback and walking paths and 8 bicycle paths. By the number of visitors, the most visited is the Big Almaty Gorge, next is the Turgen Gorge, the Aksai Gorge, and among the forest trees, Kotorbolak, Isik, Kaskelen, and Botakovka. The park has popular natural objects like lakes and waterfalls, with the most popular being the Turgen Waterfalls, the waterfall Tears of Men and Women, Botakovka Waterfall, Akjar Landslide, Maral Sai, the Agjar Priori, and the Big Almaty Lake, and the Chinturgen Mossy Spruce Groves and Lake Isik. For the visitors, the park has recreation areas, the places of stays are equipped with shelters, gazebos, fireplaces, tables, and benches. Optional services for tourists include tents, yurts, tourist inventory, transportation, bus and minibus, horses, and bicycles. Over the past few years, aside from walking tourism, the rock climbing, rafting, bicycle, horseback and hunting tourism are becoming more and more popular. Rafting can be done on the Turgen River. The Ilialatau National Park, having the status of a scientific and wildlife protection institution, also has a Department of Research on Agrobiological Diversity of Mountains. The perspective plan for 2014 to 2018 includes three aims. Monitoring the natural processes and recording results for the Nature Records book, inventory of flora in the Ilialatau National Park, identification of the spatial structure of populations in the Ilialatau National Park, and particularities in environmental biology of rare and endangered species of mammals added to the Kazakhstan Book of Endangered Species. Monitoring includes studying changes in the landscape, weather conditions, soil and water, the structure of vegetation communities and endangered plants, number and aged structure of wild animals, including rare and endangered animals, as well as the impact of human factors on the park's environmental systems. Sixteen botanic monitoring sites were set up in the park. Thirteen volumes of nature records have been prepared since 2000. Two studies and two popular science books were published. Data was collected on certain Sino populations of endangered species. Popov's Gagea, the Spurge, the Almaty Locoid, the Transili Nepida, the Alatau Saffron, the Irdodictium, the Altai Naked Seed, Albert's Iris, Common Apricot, and Yanchevsky Current. The diversity in the shape of Asian wild apple is also studied. 60 types are identified, all different in size, weight, shape, color, and taste. Expansion, aerial and biotopic distribution, and environmental particularities of mammals included in the list of endangered species are being studied. Of the snow leopard and the wild sheep, intention brown bear, the Turkestan lynx, the rock marten, and the Indian porcupine. Photo recording equipment, such as photo traps, is actively being used for that purpose. Every year, biology students, geographers, forest specialists and environmental specialists of the Al-Farabi Kazakh National University and Kazakh National Agricultural University have their on-job trainings in a national park, as well as the bachelor's and master's students from those universities whose academic advisors and consultants are employed from different departments of the national park. The nature of the Ile Alatau National Park impresses with its amazing beauty, contrast, colors, rich and unique flora. We must preserve this richness for future generations, just as we inherited it from our ancestors.